Hello and welcome back to Houses of Aorgia, the show where we break into your house and touch all your stuff. Uh, I actually have a fantastic property picked out for you today. Uh, and my voice is going to sound like shit, and I'm sorry for this. Uh, but I'm constantly dealing with some fucking respiratory bullshit fucking COVID, fuck you, COVID. Anyways. Um, so, they added a new feature, right? In housing. I wanted to sit there and start the video off with that before we go to this amazing property. Uh, you can now set your interior to uh, either mist or uh, lavender beds or goblet or Imperium or sh uh, Shiragani. Uh, so that aspect is cool. But they also added a new feature called uh, uh, Minimalist, uh, which completely redesigns the entire house. And to give you an idea of just how like utterly amazing um uh, i've done a mock-up yes i'm rebuilding my house again um uh, i did a mock-up a a, a, a mock-up floor plan and i couldn't use dalamud because uh 7.1 came out and <laughs> well you know uh dalamud is still down which means no burning down the house Anyways, so I was able to do all this mock-up using the built-in game. Uh, uh, so this is how impressively, like, like, let me just turn around. Boom. Look at all this floor space. If you remember... The uh, railings were always very thick, and they had those big bulbous things on top, and they were just fucking, they had weird collision, weird collision uh, points in there, and they just fucked everything up. Uh, and the game wouldn't even allow you to sit there and build here. You would remember... Uh, but look at this. This is this is using the end game. This is using the end game, and I was able to mock up. So what I'm going to do is, instead of bringing the ceiling down, I'm going to raise the whole floor up to sit there and get rid of this uh, notch, and that will give me all this floor space. And the neat thing about the uh, the neat thing about the staircase, if you remember. If you remember, let me go in here to, uh, if you remember the staircase, you know, you had like the do nothing corner, you had the do nothing corner before you got the staircase going up because the staircase would go up and then turn and then finish going up this direction. Well, now the staircase is not only simplistic, but it goes along the outer wall instead of taking up all that fucking space. Thank you, fucking Yoshi. Holy shit, thank you. I cannot stress enough how fucking annoying the old stairs were. These new stairs are absolutely fucking amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this tiny little section right here. Does this bring it in top of the line with the uh, railing of the, the of the uh, thing? And I'm gonna sit and uh, so you know my door is gonna be here roughly. I'm gonna have to sit there and build a door. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build custom windows. I'm gonna build a custom window here, custom window there all along this wall since I'm going to have to fight it but I don't have to fight pillars 
Oh my fucking god, I don't have to fight fucking pillars. Which means I can put these windows anywhere I want. And I can put them as close to the wall as humanly possible. That's gonna sit there and free up. It doesn't seem like much. Like six, seven inches. But you gotta think, six, seven inches along the entire outer perimeter. And this alone. Oh my god, just look at the space I'm gonna have for this one story. I cannot wait for Dalamud. I cannot wait to burn down this house. I cannot wait. But Yoshi, thank you. Uh, this is definitely a step in the right direction. They need to uh, adopt more uh, uh, burning down the house aspects. And my voice is going to turn to shit, and I'm sorry. I still want to show you the small. Okay, done sitting there talking about my shit. Uh, when I come back, I will sit there and be at the property. Okay, so here we are. We are out in the goblet. Um, I know I don't sit there and look at a lot of smalls. Uh, it really takes, it really takes, uh, something impressive to catch my eye to sit there and, uh, to sit there and bring me to a small. And honestly, for a while there, I thought I've seen it all. Uh, but this builder, uh, this builder has proven me quite wrong. Uh, this is definitely one of those five stars. Uh, flat out. Um, I don't sit there like. <sighs> I like smalls. I don't like smalls. They only have 200 assets on the inside to work with. Um, and they have such a small, small floor space compared to a medium. I mean, compared to a medium, their floor space, just the old way. And I haven't, I haven't seen what the uh, minimalist. Uh, setting for the small is but uh, the, the, the floor the floor space just sucks in a small I do only have 200 assets uh, well like I said I thought I'd seen everything uh, and even the yard uh, this yard <laughs> you know I don't sit there and talk about yards very much but uh, I love I love uh, the, the country the country housing uh, fits so perfect in this corner because you really don't notice you really don't notice Goblet's fucking ugly ass fucking walls in this corner too much especially since they got this tree here to sit there and block the line of sight as you're standing right here at the gate I love that you sit there and you forget that you're in the fucking Goblet but this yard is claustrophobic but busy. Uh, big part of that is the choice of skin and the use of uh, honestly perfectly picked out uh, assets to really flesh out this fucking yard and the placement. I like. I don't know what it is about this lower, this like lower uh, ceiling as you come walking in. It just makes the yard feel. Like, more open, I guess. They got the nice little, uh, thing. Sadly, they don't have much of a view. Uh, they got a view of the fucking wall, fucking windmill. <laughs> you know, fucking, I hate Goblet. I really do. I really hate fucking Goblet. But this person manages to sit there and make it work. They got this, uh... They got this layered nicely. I like how they got all. I like how they got all these things layered in here. Nice. Not a lot of asset locations on these, and they have definitely used every asset, and they have made it feel fleshed out, almost to the point of claustrophobia. I mean, that's amazing. Love it. But the inside, folks. Holy shit, the fucking inside. 
I, I literally, as soon as I saw this, I had to pop over here. Because I was like, there's no way this is a small. That, I mean, I was looking at the pictures like, there's no way. There's no way this is a small. Uh, you know. And then I got thinking to myself like, uh, well, uh, maybe they used the new minimalist tool on this. Uh, and it gave them a whole bunch more floor space. You know, maybe maybe it worked really weird for the smalls and, you know, the minimalist setting. Uh, turned out, uh, spoilers, uh, they did not. They kept the old school fucking floor, floor space pillars and all. And they still... I swear to God, I swear to God, I thought this was a medium. But I need to stop rambling. I need to start showing. Because I need to break into this shit before the phone calls the cops for me standing the fuck out here. <laughs> staring at this person's front door. <laughs> so they opted, they opted, instead of music, they opted for a uh, sound effect. Which works out for this property. I think the sound effects uh, make the space feel more full than a music uh, role would have. So, as you look up, this is what you see. I love the presentation. You have the staircase just right of center. Off to the left. Those windows fucking grab your attention. And the fact that they live in the goblet means that they could use uh, the stupid uh, plasma escapes. To their advantage. Mm. And then this little spot catches your eye off there. Lighting. Modern. Love it. Uh, I don't know what that is. Don't. Build or do not sit there and take my eye. Uh, like. I am still fucking blown away by that. You know. Okay. So. If you turn off to the Right. You have my favorite part of the house, a fucking kitchen. <laughs> but let's look and look at their door. Look at this fucking door, custom door. I love it. I fucking love it. And then their kitchen. Uh, this is the first time. This is the first time I've seen somebody do bubbles. Oh my god! I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of you. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I love looking at houses. Because sometimes somebody has an idea just so far out of fucking left field. And who would have thought to use a laundry basket to make fucking bubbles? <laughs> oh my god. That is so perfect for this sake. That is so perfect for this sake. And this allows them to sink it in there. Oh. Beautiful idea. I love that idea. Absolutely amazing job. No 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 uh, no cupboards. Understandable. Uh, I can see where they've had to sit there and sacrifice to put in details. So that is nice. This counter space works out perfectly. The dark colors really draws the eye away from uh, the fact that there are no cupboards, which is cool. This property actually has several really amazing optical illusions. I can't wait to show you my favorite, but we're not there yet. But I love this kitchen. It's simple. It's simple. It's elegant. I love the window over the, uh, the sink. Everybody wants a window over the sink. And this sink has a large, large window. You know, it's a small house, so of course they got a small cupboard space. 
and they got clutter just whimsical clutter whimsical clutter everywhere they they really found a way to stretch those assets in this build I love it so you come around here a little mini bar and uh, these uh, custom built cupboards love it um, this this is a knick-knack cornery it does something with the space and it fits in it's not out of place like looking at this house looking at the layout this fits in it's beautiful the way the way they got this door set up lovely so this is my favorite optical illusion here uh, they got the stuff here in the corner but this is my favorite optical illusion that they built they got this set up so it looks like it's a door leading outside and you can imagine that there's this yard out there this garden this secret garden whatever you can imagine is just outside this door and I say it's an optical illusion because you know you come out and it's just this little space but it's still a cute little space and they find a way to sit there and work their little cute whimsicalness into all these different spaces and they even sit there and put a little into detail here so it's an optical illusion to make you think that you know it's a door leading outside to you, you don't know what so wonderful so wonderful I've never honestly I've never seen anybody do this with a door I've never seen this done with a door before I love it you come over here to the uh, living space this this is nice this is nice this is a nice custom uh, aquarium uh, and I can completely take a pass at the fish I really wish the fish had uh, uh, like collision detection where they could detect like the ob every object had a collision detection you know a collision barrier and those fish would sit there and be programmed to sit there and swim within the parameters of the, the cube of the uh, fish aquarium but you know would sit there and avoid going through you know I would love to see that but uh complete pass on that I know you can't do anything about that uh, and this, this was honestly uh, very expensive. You got to think, you only have 200 assets. Uh, and you got three assets spent right here. So it was kind of pricey. But it works. But it works. Uh, I don't th think this would be a little bit dull of a corner. If there wasn't something going on, so you were going to spend uh, assets in this corner, anyways, and this works. I like that. But these custom windows, oh, I love the use of the plasma scape, taking advantage of because honestly, if you do go outside and you do look, this is almost exactly their view from their house as it is. So this this plasma scape fucking works out amazing for them, absolutely amazing for them. And this little city space is just lovely. They don't cut a lot here, but the assets they use make it feel lived in by making the whole wall a window you save on asset look you know asset location because if it's a wall it has to be decorated I'm sorry I don't make the rules if it's a wall it has to be decorated there has to be something your eye your eye should never have to travel more than a certain amount of space before it sees something else you know it's one of those unwritten rules I love this I love this that is so cute that is so cute and it works in this space I don't 
I don't know what that is. It doesn't look out of place. I just, I don't know what they were going for there. It's weird. It's interesting. Uh, because, uh, as far as I can see, um, that's like a asset location. And honestly, if you could, if you could sacrifice that, uh, please do that. Uh, one, it would bring in symmetry. Two, it would allow you to put out a guest signed book. I, oh shit! Where the hell would you put it? You would have to put it here on your countertop. But man, I would love to have a book to sign. I really would, uh, because I cannot, I cannot stop raving about this place. I love it, and we haven't even gone upstairs. <laughs> This is a small, folks. This is a fucking small. It does not feel small. Let's go upstairs. It's a little, it's a little weird. Uh, space, space, can't help it. Uh, you get to the bedroom. You get to the bedroom. All the scrimping, all the saving of asset locations went into the bedroom. I can tell because they got all kinds of clutter and it's good clutter. I love it. I love all of it. I, I cannot stop saying enough about this. All that scrimping and saving to sit there and make this really lovely uh, bedroom. Absolutely amazing. This vaultedness works. Five out of five. Absolutely five out of five. Well done, builder. Absolutely well done. Once again, I am so sorry about my voice, and honestly, I really need to stop talking. Uh, this is the longest I've talked for a while. I don't talk much <laughs> outside of these videos, honestly. If you knew me in real life, I'm rather kind of mute. Anyways, uh, oh shit, an idea that I would want, honestly, the whole house. <laughs> honestly... The whole fucking house. I would sit there. I, I, I would steal the whole house. Uh, I like all the ideas. There, there's. I like. I like all the ideas. Like, just bring me a trailer. Bring me a trailer. We're gonna jack this bitch up, and we're gonna sit there and load it on a flatbed, and we're gonna sit there and roll down the road with this. Okay? We're gonna steal the whole house. Watch me. Uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Uh, till our next video, I will see you guys later.